Hello internet. So yeah, I just got my latest edition of PC Gamer cover issued Doom Eternal, which I, I have no interest in, but what's this under the sticker? The Sims. Okay, yeah, I just bought The Sims 3 like last week. Last time I played was the original Sims on a PC Gamer demo disc that I had a lot of fun with and heard a lot of cool stories about. And man, it was hard to get into and I, I'm like vacillating between playing The Sims 3 and Arcanum. But this looks like a lot of really cool information and, uh, uh, and in particular, I like this graph they have. Why you play. Reasons for The Sims' success. Just take a minute and uh, set that in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really Big Brother style stuff here with all our little wireframe uh, subjects. And I I'd say like a lot of YouTubers seem like they're based on The Sims model where they just have like a set of... Um, a set of animations and stuff that get played over and over, like, comment, subscribe, and share, you know, all that stuff. Uh, and I, I don't really get why they, uh, why they don't uh, open up the platform to let it be more liberal. But here's, here's The Sims. As you can see, I've only played 25 minutes. And uh, I didn't do Create Your Own, I did a pre-made, which is probably why I quit, because it wasn't really exciting to fit with their story. But, you know, Arcanum, that's the opposite problem. There's so many cool stories, I want to do all of them, and I just don't know if I'll get my ass kicked for um, not having the, the skills needed to win with uh, one uh, playthrough style versus another. I've decided on Arcanum that I'm going to do... Uh, um, a dialogue heavy playthrough with lots of followers and uh magic versus technology i don't know technology looked like it wasn't as cool as magic in the character creation guide that i did so i'm probably going to do a uh um but i i really like technology in real life it's so hard to, oh man I'm, I'm so like i don't know what to do in arcanum for for starters you know I really wanted to do a a half elf or an elf, but I only liked one of the portraits that they had. That's always a problem in in these types of RPGs. Is like I get stuck up on like who who the portrait looks like, and and I want to like figure it out differently. It'd be cool. Same thing happened in like Wasteland uh, Two. Uh, I couldn't decide on a portrait for my characters. Because some of them were really good and some of them were kind of dorky. But, you know, it's it's uh, it's all good because I'm getting my ass kicked in the virtual sphere of, uh, well, big screen. In the virtual sphere. Anyway, uh, I don't know why I recorded this. Uh, just giving you an update on what I'm getting into this week. Uh, hopefully, um, I can figure out what to do about my wish list because i need like uh, over a thousand dollars to get everything on my wish list purchased uh, i'm trying to like uh, maybe start a, a sci-fi channel that covers sci-fi books sci-fi movies and sci-fi video games and uh, i kind of got sidetracked uh, adding a bunch of management sims to my uh, wish list but some of these management sims are uh sci-fi related but you know i've got tons of stuff on here maybe you can play it at a uh, half speed on youtube to see all of these i get advertised a lot of stuff and i only uh Whoops, I only do the stuff that looks like it's going to be uh, really, really good. So, well, how'd that get there? I said get this off, man. It looks stupid. Remove. Derp. YouTuber's life looks fun. I want to try that one. Look at all this great stuff, but it's going to... I'm going to go bankrupt. Maybe when I get a new computer, I'll, I'll try a, um, 
opening another Steam account with my new Gmail address and uh, renaming my account and doing a sci-fi only thing. Like, I got a ton of stuff here. I'm never going to even play a fraction of these, and I'd probably just buy them and let them sit and hope that I could start, <coughs> start a company where people play my video games and, and make jokes about them. Uh, yeah. Uh, whatevs. Have fun. Have a good weekend. Happy International Cat Day. That's it for now. Bye-bye.